So, another special allowable deductions or deduction incentives, uh, the expanded senior citizens. Okay, this is the Senior Citizens Act of 2003, which is RA 9257. Okay, so actually, sino ba yung mga senior citizens natin or orderly? Of course, these are those uh, resident Filipino citizen aged 60 years old and above. Okay, so sinasabi dito under RA 9257, a senior citizen or elderly are entitled to the discount of 20%. Okay, in certain establishments such as hotels, similar lodging establishments, restaurants, recreation centers, other places of culture, leisure, and amusement parks, hospital, drugstores, services such as medical, dental, domestic, sea and land transport, funeral or burial service providers. So the discounts granted to senior citizens by covered establishments and service providers are allowed under the law to have a special deductions against gross income. Okay, so ibig sabihin pala, uh, it's okay to give sa mga elderly natin ng discount kasi nga pwede naman niyang i-claim ng taxpayer as deductions from gross income. Okay? So that's very good actually. Especially ako, meron akong tatay na part na ng senior citizen. So this is very good. Now, conditions for deductibility of sales discounts to senior citizens. Okay? So first, only the portion of the gross sales exclusively used, consumed, or enjoyed by the senior citizen shall be eligible for the deductible sales discount. Okay. Second, the gross selling price and sales discounts must be separately indicated in the official receipt. Okay. Kailangan kasama yon, And kailangan nag-issue ng invoice ang establishment. Okay. Now, third, only the actual amount of the discount granted or sales discount not exceeding 20% of the gross selling price can be reduced from the gross income. Net of BAT, if applicable. Okay, fourth, the discount can only be allowed as deduction from gross income for the same taxable year that the discount is granted. Okay, so for that year lang. Last, the business establishment giving sales discount to qualified senior citizen is required to keep a separate and accurate record of sales which shall include the name, TIN, ID, uh, gross sales receipts, and discounts granted, date of transaction, and invoice number for every sale transaction to senior citizens. Okay, marami kang kailangan i-keep na records pero madali lang yan, especially technology. Okay? Now, to give you an example, CPA Dreams Drugstore recorded 1,200,000 total deductible expenses. Okay? And the following sales, according to the customers, so you can see here, regular and senior citizens. So senior citizens, meron kang 1,200,000 and your cost of sales is 800,000. No, CPA Dreams Okay, adopts a policy of giving senior citizens a 25% discount. Okay, mataas. Now, consequently, it granted the total senior citizens discounts during the period equivalent to 300,000. Now, paano mo ikakalculate yung taxable net income ni CPA Dreams? So, it will be calculated as, so gross sales, yung total, 5 million plus 1.2, 6 million 200,000. Yung cost of sales mo, 3 million plus 800,000. So, that is total gross income from operations of 2 million 400,000. So, wala naman tayong... Uh, other expenses pero meron tayong regular itemized deductions of 1,200,000 as total deductible expense yung na-mention ko. So, kasama yan, less 1,200,000. Now, merong binanggit na special itemized deduction which is the senior citizen's discount. Okay? E di ba may rules na ang gross sales dapat is uh, ang discount given ay dapat nasa 
20% limit lang. So, yung 1.2 million multiply by the 20%, which is 240,000, yun lang ang magiging uh, part ng deduction mo. So, the 240,000. So, in total, you have to less 1,440,000. So, then the total taxable net income will be 960,000. Okay? So, nakita mo kung paano natin siya in-apply. Tatandaan, merong limit na 20% sa senior citizens. Okay? So, I hope na natutunan mo kung paano yung mga special allowable deductions natin. Okay? Thank you so much for watching and listening to this video lesson. If you haven't done so, please click the subscribe button.